Hello and welcome to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Come Just As You Are, May 7th. Can the Ethiopian change his skin, or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good, that are accustomed to do evil. Jeremiah 13.23 God does not regard all sins as of equal magnitude. There are degrees of guilt in his estimation as well as in that of man. But however trifling this or that wrong act may seem in the eyes of men, no sin is small in the sight of God. Man's judgment is partial, imperfect, but God estimates all things as they really are. The drunkard is despised and is told that his sin will exclude him from heaven, while pride, selfishness, and covetousness too often go unrebuked. But these are sins that are especially offensive to God, for they are contrary to the benevolence of his character, to that unselfish love which is the very atmosphere of the unfallen universe. He who falls into some of the grosser sins may feel a sense of his shame and poverty and his need of the grace of Christ. But pride feels no need, and so it closes the heart against Christ and the infinite blessings he came to give. If you see your sinfulness, do not wait to make yourself better. How many there are who think they are not good enough to come to Christ? Do you expect to become better through your own efforts? There is help for us only in God. We must not wait for stronger persuasions, for better opportunities, or for holier tempers. We can do nothing for ourselves. We must come to Christ just as we are. Yield yourself to Christ without delay. He alone, by the power of his grace, can redeem you from ruin. He alone can bring your moral and mental powers into a state of health. Your heart may be warm with the love of God, your understanding clear and mature, your conscience illuminated, quick and pure, your will upright and sanctified, subject to the control of the Spirit of God. You can make yourself what you choose. If you will now face right about, cease to do evil, and learn to do well, then you will be happy indeed. You will be successful in the battles of life and rise to glory and honor in the better life than this. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.